instantaneous fun for the whole family, even the psychopaths. Weasel buys weird shit and reviews it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Weasel by Sweet Shit and Reviews It. Bring me the bird! In today's episode of Weasel by Sweet Shit and Reviews It, it's all about action figures. One dollar action figures. And we're starting off with this prime jewel, the ninja. One of the few figures that I found at a dollar store. And it comes with throwing stars? I want to say yes, but they're so round, I guess, because kids can't hurt themselves with them or so. A very colorful sword and whatever this thing is. If you know what this is, let me let, let me know in the comments. Maybe it says on the back. Nope, it does not. Let's get this fella out of here. Just says ninja. Ah, uh, oh God. And here he is in all of his magnificent glory. Look at those abs. Damn, every day. It's upper body day or leg day. Well, he is a really horrible looking action figure, but at least the face isn't ruined because he doesn't have one. That helps out a lot. Reminds me a little bit of Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Other than that, he is a really flimsy ninja. Look at the sword. I have seen more sword like sticks you put into cheese with grapes on it, you know, like like Toothpicks. A toothpick is more dangerous than this. I, he can't even hold it. Like his his fingers are just his hand is so loose. It's not made for this. I mean, there's a little hole in here, so yeah, it it'll do the trick. It'll do the trick. And whatever this thing is, this it looks like a golf club. So how are you gonna throw that? Don't you mess with him. He's gonna come for you. Yeah, and he's gonna. Oh, crap. You sit back there and think about what you've done. Next on the list is this beautiful wrestler or extreme fighting action playset, accessories included, which is a, I, I think, a fence, like a barrier, one of those two things. Let's get you out of here. One of the reasons I got this beautiful figure was the face. Just. Just can you appreciate the face for a second? Just how it stares at you. Ah! I love whoever modeled this face. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I guess it looks like human. Maybe I don't know. Can I remove the head? Ugh, the head is pretty spot on. <laughs> okay, so you can take the head off, which is great. Yeah. Oh, oh, you lost, you lost a leg there, my friend. Sorry. Sorry, that, that happened by accident. Well, it's, it's, it's extreme fighting. People will lose their limbs when they do fight. What do you think about him? Wheatley could not care less. Well, he's also a very beautiful fella. And he comes with a fence. So he can, I don't know, throw them. I guess throw them. Always, always a good bet with wrestling. Yeah, definitely a fantastic figure. I don't know what's going on with his leg there. It's always falling off. You wait there next to your friend. And we're not done yet. No, no, no. It wouldn't be an episode about action figures without... The military. Military action figure. That's, that's all it has to say. It comes with some sort of turret. Actually, no, it's not a turret. It's like break open doors, a megaphone a shield, I mean a whole lot of equipment. I have no idea what the rest is. Probably a Gatling gun. He is a little, he's a little smaller than his fellow friends over here, but what he lacks in size, he makes up with equipment. If you, if you, if you get what I mean. All right, let's, let's build this Gatling gun of his. Wonderful. Someone needs to compensate, doesn't he? Can, can he hold this? Yes, he can. I'm actually surprised by that. Yeah, what do you think about your fence now? You got nothing going- He has a big hole in his butt. Or right above his butt, one of those two things. With screws in it. Because that is how soldiers are made. He also got a ram... I don't know what you call those. You can, you can break open doors with these. A shield and a megaphone for whatever reason. That is standard military equipment or so. As well, I didn't pick him for his big guns. Or his abs. No. I picked him for his face. For his beautiful, beautiful, disturbing face. And I think those are grenades. I, I want to say those are grenades. But I don't know what happened to his butt here. 
that weird things have been ha happening to his butt. Other than that, he's... Never mind, he's not very stable. Sorry, let me put that back in. Oh, ah. Uh, how did I get it out of there in the first place? This is... Doesn't seem... Okay, there you go. I should have been a doctor. And he doesn't come alone, he comes with a friendly military unit. The rowboat driving Navy SEAL. I... I just gotta show you. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. I guess this is supposed to be a Navy SEAL of some sort. Because, you know, he has underwater gear, a sniper rifle, a shotgun, and whatever the other... A grenade launcher. Very sneaky. The sneakiest of weapons, the grenade launcher. And a boat. A little kayak. What, what about all the unsung heroes in the military? What about the cook? Why are they never, like, cook action figures or you know the guy that t watches the radar this is military too right i just gotta show you his face too the shit he has seen i don't know what kind of masks this is but it looks so super dorky he looks like he has a beak he does look like a water monster or something along those lines another beautiful figure in my action figure collection now we should put him into his little boat oh you- oh, that's not good. That's- that's- that's not good. He doesn't even fit in there without breaking the boat apart. He's so big. Yep. Whenever I want to put him in, the boat pops open. That's- well, that's- that's some shoddy design. This- this boat is way too small for him. Then again, what can you expect for a dollar? I mean, I guess it does the trick. I do wonder why there's a hole in here. You can prop one of the guns into it. Yes, I can. It's a gun holder, obviously. One last thing I do have to try, though, now that I think about it. All of these limbs are interchangeable, which means we're gonna make a super soldier. And we have our first super soldier. He has four legs instead of two, which makes him so much better underwater because he can swim so much faster. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Instantaneous fun for the whole family, even the psychopaths. They got so much better once I realized that they're interchangeable. Who who needs this? This is perfect. There's still one thing I need to do. Okay, with the other figures, it sadly didn't work as well. They're kind of the parts are breaking off because it's a different kind of plastic, so it doesn't bend that easily. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Weasel Bites Weird Shit and Revisit, make sure to check out the playlist with many more of these videos. And if you liked it, please leave a like, think about subscribing. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>